In the small Dutch town near the German border lives Zoraya Terbeek, a 28-year-old woman whose life has been marred by depression, autism and borderline personality disorder. Once, she harbored dreams of becoming a psychiatrist, but these dreams were crushed under the weight of her mental health battles. Despite being in love with her boyfriend and having a comfortable home, Zoraya felt an overwhelming sense of hopelessness. Her despair is so profound that she bears a tattoo of a reverse tree of life on her upper left arm, a permanent reminder of her struggle. And now, Zoraya has made the decision to end her life through euthanasia, a practice that has been legal in the Netherlands since 2001. The process is methodical and meticulous. Her doctor will administer a sedative followed by a drug that will stop her heart. Afterward, a euthanasia review committee will evaluate Zoraya's death to ensure the doctor adhered to the due care criteria and the Dutch government will lawfully declare the end of Zoraya's life. Zoraya is part of a growing trend in the West where individuals are choosing to end their lives rather than live in pain. While traditionally associated with terminal illness, euthanasia is increasingly being considered by those suffering from depression, anxiety and other mental health disorders. Critics argue that laws destigmatizing suicide, a social media culture that glamorizes it, and radical right-to-die activists have all played a part in encouraging individuals like Zoraya to end their lives, leading to what some refer to as a suicide contagion. Since the legalization of euthanasia in the Netherlands, the number of people choosing this path has increased dramatically. This raises the question, are we as a society tacitly encouraging suicide, or are we merely respecting the individual's autonomy over their own life? As we delve deeper into the 21st century, these questions will continue to challenge our understanding of life, death, and the grey area that exists between them. The story of Zoraya Terbeek serves as a stark reminder of this ongoing debate. What do you think about this complex issue? Your thoughts and opinions matter, so please share them. After all, these discussions are what shape our understanding and our society.